Hey y'all, Pieces of Nika is here and tonight I'm going to be cooking my Thanksgiving dinner and I figured I'm more experienced now to let you guys watch me cook Thanksgiving dinner because I did my first one last Thanksgiving and it turned out really good. So this year I decided to film myself cooking to help those of you out there who don't know how to cook or just like watching cooking videos like I do sometimes. But this is going to be a unedited what you see is what you get type of video because I just kind of want you to just see how I do it. I don't want to go back and just try to fix it. If I mess up, I just mess up. Sorry. But I'm just here to help those of you who may want to see how you cook certain things. So if you want to see how I cook my Thanksgiving dinner, then stay tuned. Okay, so what I'm first going to do is get my ingredients ready to make the dressing. And what you want to do is take your cornmeal. I use Aunt Jemima self-rising self -rising white cornmeal mix. And you want to make sure that it's self-rising because that's what helps it to rise. So you just want to, I, I usually eyeball it, but if you want to go to court to the directions on the back, it says um, two cups, but since I'm making a lot of dressing, I'm going to just double that to four cups and just eyeball it. So I'm just going to pour this in the, bo in the bowl. I usually do about half of this bowl. So you just keep pouring. I probably do about half a bowl. That looks to be about enough. And then you want to do three tablespoons of sugar. One, two, and I'm just going to add just a little bit of self rising flour, just a little, probably about like a tablespoon, but I eyeballed it. <laughs> Just kind of stir all your um, dry ingredients up. And this is going to be just regular cornbread that I'm, that I'm going to mash up later for the dressing. So now I'm going to add in three eggs and I like to crack my eggs in, one, in, a, in a bag so that the shell can go in the bag. And I keep dish water too so that I can clean up as I go. So that's what you see here. So you're gonna do three eggs. And then you're gonna do three cups of milk. So with that, I have a measuring cup. So that's going to be two cups and then you're going to do one more to make three cups. Okay, and we're going to stir that all up. You want to stir it kind of slow because you don't want everything to come spilling all out. So just stir it really slow. And once it's done, it should be kind of like a pudding consistency. That's the consistency that you want. So you just mix it all up. Mix, mix, mix. mixing until it looks like it's all mixed very well and if you still see like some white in there dry white pieces then just keep mixing okay so this is pretty much the consistency that you want it to be where it's just kind of running off the spoon that's what you're looking for 
So now it's time to put this in the oven. I have the oven set to 400 degrees. And you wanna put some oil in a pan. And we're going to heat that up in the oven and I left that in for about five minutes. So you want to pour your cornbread in this pan. I keep dish water so I'm going to rinse that out in a second but this little grease that you see on the side you want to take that and just sprinkle that across the top okay. so my oven is set to 400 degrees you want to put that in your oven right on the top for 30 minutes Okay, so next we're going to prepare the macaroni and cheese homemade from scratch. So what you're gonna do is you're going to cut up one block of the Velveeta block cheese. I've done that here. You cut them up into squares like I did. Here, drop that in there. We're gonna melt that down. As you can see in there. Okay, we're gonna melt that down. You're gonna add one stick of butter and you're going to add about one cup of half and half to make a cheese sauce. So let's do that. So I'm gonna turn my eye on medium high. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of the half and half in there. And I'll slowly start adding in the chunks of butter. So what you want to do is just stir this until it melts down. Now while that's cooking in this pot, for this pot I'm going to make some black eyed peas. I'm not going to make a lot. So what I'm going to do is start boiling these pork neck bones. You can see that. Can you see that? Pork neck bones. You're going to boil those in some water. And then what I'm also going to do in this small skillet here, I'm going to saute some onion. And in this skillet over here, I'm going to saute the celery. Onion and celery is going in the dressing. So I'm going to go ahead and saute those. And I'm going to be adding onion to the black eyed peas. When I boil the neck bones, I'm going to add onion to that as well. So that's what I'll be doing. So take your cheese sauce and you pour it over the mac. I pour a little bit at a time. So, we're gonna be adding sharp cheddar. Mix it all up. Just a little black pepper to it. Stir some more. Pour in the rest of your sauce. And we're going to top it with some sharp cheddar.
I like a lot of cheese. So tomorrow I'll be putting this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And that's going to be how you make mac and cheese. Okay, in this skillet, I'm going to be sauteing onion. And I'm putting my eye on medium high. And this is the water that the neck bones is going to go in right here. And there's a skillet right here. Right there. And that is celery. I'm sauteing that. And both of these, the onion and the celery, is going to go in the dressing. But I'm also going to be putting the onion inside of this pan right here to go in the black eyed peas. Now this skillet here has water in it and that's going to be for the collard greens. So first let's start with this pot. I'm going to be putting in neck bones. Neck bones is in that pot. Onion saute in that pot. Neck bones is in this pot for the collard greens and the sauteed celery. And over here, our cornbread is ready for the dressing and I'm about to show you how to make your dress. Okay, here are the ingredients that I use for my dressing. Cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, poultry seasoning, which has sage in it. Most people use sage, but I just use poultry seasoning because it has sage in it. Salt, ground black pepper, chicken broth, and two eggs. So what we're going to do is mash this cornbread up and add these ingredients to it. So let's get started with that. Okay, so you want to dig the cornbread out of this pot and mash it up into this one. Okay, now that the cornbread is all mashed up, we're gonna add our ingredients for our dressing. First thing you wanna do is add your chicken broth. And you wanna do about two cups, but just eyeball it, I usually do. cream of chicken. I usually use a half a can. I don't use this whole can. You use half a can of it. Cream of mushroom. Half a can. about one teaspoon of poultry seasoning or sage. Salt and black pepper. And mix it all up. Oh, don't forget your eggs. Two eggs. Now mix it all up. It's looking like it's really thick, so we're gonna add the rest of the cream of chicken and the rest of the cream of mushroom. You don't want it to be dry. If you 
you have a blender, a handheld blender that's even better, you can use that. But I don't have one right now. So I have to use a spoon the old fashioned way. Now here's the point, I'm gonna add my onion and celery. And this is how your dressing should look when you're done. I'm not gonna cook it tonight. I will put it in the oven in the morning for about 30 to 45 minutes. And when you see that it gets golden brown with a crisp on top, it should be ready. And that is how you make dressing. Okay, so in that water that I put the neck bones in earlier, I have added my black eyed peas to this pot and they're cooking in here with the neck bones so these are going to cook for about an hour to one to two hours so just keep checking them to make sure that none of the water has boiled out and that's that now over here he is my other neck bones for my collard greens and these are the greens that i'm using the glory collard greens they're in the bag cut up already because ain't nobody got time to be cutting up no greens and doing all of that i'm new age so i like it easy this is much easier doing it this way so i'm just running some water on them and get them cleaned off really good and we're going to put them in that water with the neck bones So I've added the greens to the water with the neck bone. And you just want to mix it in there. Minced garlic, minced onion, ground black pepper, and just a little bit of salt. Mix that all up. And you're just gonna let this cook for about two hours maybe an hour just kind of watch it and see if it's looking like it's tender enough to eat but i'll give it about two hours and you want to put your heat on medium low and put the top on it and that's for your collard greens okay now i'm going to show you how to do the ham this is a half ham right here from brookshire's all of my items came from brookshire's and to cook a ham you normally do it 20 minutes per pound so this is a three pound ham so it's going to bake in the oven for about 60 minutes which is an hour and i'm going to show you now how to make the glaze to put on top this is all you need to make your glaze this is what i use to put on top of my ham i use light brown sugar and organic raw honey so what we're gonna do is put both of these ingredients inside of a little small pot and let it melt down and we're gonna pour that over our ham after we've washed our ham and let it cook for bake in the oven covered in foil for about an hour. Take it out and put this glaze on top. So let's, let me show you how to do that. eyeballing this this may be a cup of sugar if you just want an ingredient just kind of eyeball it to see how much you want since this is only half a ham I would say probably about a cup of brown sugar and we're about to get the honey and put on top I would say about three teaspoons of honey so I have the eye on low, so we're just gonna stir it. 
it should start to melt down. Okay, here is the ham. I'm going to do now is poke some holes in it and cover it in foil and cook it for an hour and then I'm going to pull it out and we're going to pour the glaze over it. Poking holes in it is going to help the glaze kind of go down in there because this isn't a pre-sliced ham. It's going to have to be sliced when it's cooked. Put it in the oven for an hour. Here's our glaze. Starting to melt down now. This is what we're going to pour over the ham after it has cooked for an hour. We'll take it out, pour this over the top and wrap it back up and put it back in the oven for another 40 minutes. And that's all you do to cook your ham. All right, y'all, and so that is how I cook my Thanksgiving dinner. I hope you all found this video really easy. And like I said, you can eyeball any of these ingredients to however many people that you're cooking it for. I thank you all so much for watching. Bye and happy Thanksgiving.